everybody. First of all, I'm going to share with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, diesel generator unit, uh, MATLAB Simonic model. Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, we are going to uh, learn how to extract our data and how can we address uh, some uh, important parameter about important parameters about uh, diesel generator Simonic model. Um, usually, diesel generator is used for uh, as a backup unit or for recovery unit for, for uh, power generation. Um, normally, we are talking about a uh, couple of hundreds of, of kilowatts of power generation. Uh, we have actually uh, today we have uh, two different models. Um, I prepared two, two types of uh, data extractor. Uh, and um, uh, two types of inputs, dynamic modeling and uh, fixed point modeling. Um, let's begin with fixed point modeling or uh, transient. Okay, this is our model. You have to, it's this is generator. It's, we have some inputs and we have some outputs, as you can see here. This is uh, our model. We have uh, some inputs such as uh, atmospheric pressure, air, air temperature, uh, fuel calorific value, air to fuel ratio, brake power, mechanical and volumetric efficiencies, indicated power and piston, uh, uh, piston bore and stroke, a number of cylinder and stroke type. Which type are going? A uh, two stroke or four stroke? Our target today is um, indicated power, friction power, torque, RPM, mean power pressure, mean brake pressure, indicated power efficiency, brake power efficiency. Uh, swept volume, air volume, its design, air mass flow rates, and uh, specific uh, fuel consumption. Okay, we have to assign some inputs. First of all, I'm going to assign, as you can see, atmospheric pressure and temperature. I will keep these values uh, as it is. For fuel, we have a calorific value. Suppose it's uh, uh, quite normal, uh, uh, 40s, 42, 45,000s. Let's the fuel ratio, suppose it's uh, uh, 11. Uh, you can uh, assign your uh, your input bids on type of fuel, sure, it's a diesel fuel. Mechanical efficiency, I'll keep this. Uh, indicated board, suppose I'm going to uh, generate, uh, for example, uh, a matrix technique. If if you run our model at this uh, case, indicated the pressure it's uh, 15, and our design bore, stroke, number of cylinders, uh, stroke type. If you type here uh, two, it's four stroke. If you, if you type one, it's one stroke. If we run our model uh, at its current uh, case, let's see current situation. Yes. Here we are. This is our, as you can see here, uh, this is our results. Indicated power is uh, 400 kilo power, uh, kilowatt uh, friction power. Uh, torque RBM is uh, 300. Okay. Let's change. Let's make some changes. As you can see here, I'm going to change some uh, design parameters. Suppose it's, uh, it, this is bore. It's a huge machine. Uh, I'm going for uh, for point two point two uh, meter cylinder. It's for uh, tug or C shape or something like this. A stroke. It's point four. You can point uh, four or point three five. Let's go for point three five. Point three five. Number of cylinders, suppose it's six cylinders, and uh, I'm going for one stroke. For power, you can we can uh, change this power for, suppose I'm going for 100, step uh, 25, up to, uh, uh, let's go for, Three five zero. That's quite normal for such types. Let's go for for five kilowatts each. Indicated pressure. Okay. 
Az azokon az a kívét. Let's get on. Okay, for transit, as you can see here, our results will be a matrix, as you can see. So let's go here in our book space, and you can see here. This is efficiency. Let's do some plots with our efficiency. Okay, remaining little bit constant. I think this one is the same, yes. A friction power. Let's go for friction power. Yes, this is friction power. We can do some uh, some parameters such as um, let's go for uh, for here and do some some figures. Okay. For example, I'm going for uh, indicated power as a x with uh, mass flow rate of the air and indicated power with uh, for example um, let's go for specific fuel consumption okay let's go for uh, yes volume of air and we can draw some uh, this uh, I think Torque. I think it's torque. Yes. There's some parameters remaining constants. Constants. I have friction power. Let's go for uh, RBM changes. There's some kind of changes with RBM speed. Okay. Let's go for RBM here. I couldn't find it uh, anyway. So. Uh, fuel mass fuel rate. Let's go for fuel mass fuel rate. So more power needs more. Uh, uh, let's, we you can draw, for example, mass fuel rate of air versus fuel mass fuel rate and so on. So this is a transit model. Uh, sure, you can change many parameters at once. I mean, if you ch if you but you have to keep. Uh, keep watching the same dimension for each matrix suppose I'm going for one uh, 100 200 300 350 and the indicated bar so one two three four it's four four inputs so I have to keep um, this dimension uh, for each input. I suppose I'm going for efficiency, mechanical efficiency. Suppose I, I have to uh, to assign four inputs uh, as well. Uh, suppose it's uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Okay, and uh, let's go for uh, stroke. Keep these values. Okay, you can change, and you have to watch. The changes here. There's some kind of changes. Okay, let's go here, and you can easily uh, draw uh, indicated bar with mass flow rate. Yes, okay, the same. Now let's go for specific for fuel consumption. Okay, torque was okay. Four, uh, 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 four inputs uh, for, for each point. Okay, this is the transient model or flexible model. You can run it uh, easily. Okay, let's go for another thing uh, um, for dynamic modeling. Let's go here and uh, clear CLC. Okay, for dynamic modeling, it's quite <laughs> different. You have to set your time instead of zero. You have to set your simulation time uh, to infinity. And I'm uh, sorry. Okay, let's go and uh, we have to input some uh, parameters such as bore and stroke. Okay, this bore and stroke, and we can use. Uh, dashboard sure you can uh, do what you would like you can change uh, the type of uh, 
of input data. You can change it uh, based on your uh, design. So let's go here, uh, hit run, and watch um, the changes based on your uh, uh, input variations. Let's go here, hit run. Okay, first of all, I'm selecting, uh, you can select between four stroke and two stroke, okay? You can realize here uh, uh, the change in RBM with between four stroke and two stroke, okay? Four stroke lower in RBM, four stroke, uh, four stroke lower in RBM, two stroke higher. Let's go and change uh, air to fuel ratio. I'm changing air to fuel ratio and uh, calorific value let's little bit increasing if mechanical efficiency i am increasing increasing okay up to eight eighty percent and um, indicative pressure i am going to uh, decrease indicative pressure decreasing okay i let's go for 300 uh, power and the uh, brake power okay load and number of cylinders it's four number number of cylinders are four let's go for for example 14 number of cylinders okay okay 14 that's a stop as you can see here this mm, this is um, a quite interesting type of uh, realizing your uh, your outputs it's quite interesting but if you intended to collect your data as a as a parameters or as a numeric parameters you can go for data inspector but first of all you have to to check this you have to check this you have to double clicking here and check this box okay okay let's go for our uh, data and signal inspector okay Let's realize the, the variation on indicative power. As you can see here, uh, there is many parameters affected on because we change it many parameters. Uh, friction power. Um, let's go for. I uh, suppose I'm putting friction power with indicative power. And here, let's go for mass flow rate. Okay, uh, or fuel mass flow rate, and this is uh, a specific fuel consumption and torque uh, rbm changing according to two stroke four stroke two stroke four stroke and so on mean break power pressure um, uh, indicated power efficiency uh, and we i'm going to put break power efficiency on the same curve and uh, so to volume and uh, his his mass flow rate and uh, air volume and uh, air uh, flow rate as you can see here so it's a, it's a simple model uh, one straightforward model you can uh, if you intended you you can easily uh, connect this model uh, to uh, as a backup unit with whatever you would like to connect uh, as a backup with solar energy model was um, of course with our models you can connect um, this uh, interesting diesel generator model as a backup by using this uh, brake power because this is the load this is the load on the diesel generator and you can um, make another copy many copy of this you can copy three units four units and uh, you can assign the total power suppose i'm going for one mega what so i need uh, four of these units or five of these units in order to uh, give us uh, a couple of uh, hundreds of uh, a kilowatt power uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for uh, your interesting in uh, redslabor.com uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe uh, thank you very much.